Good morning, private practice success community. Welcome to the PPS morning run, which is a beach walk this morning. I hope you can hear me because these waves are so loud and the water isn't even rough. How has your week been going? Welcome to Thursday. I have not had the best of weeks <laughs> for various reasons. Most important and biggest significant challenge I've had is the fact that my laptop just gave in two days ago. Just stopped working. It's dead. Dead, 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 dead. Can't be more dead than it currently is. So I've ordered myself a new laptop and I need to wait a whopping four weeks for it to be delivered near where I am. Lucky I have a spare laptop at home, the one my hubby has been using, which was Abby, my PA's previous laptop before she got her new one. So at least I can do my Zooms and stuff like that. But currently I don't have access to any of my emails. And just between me and you, it has actually been a very freeing experience. <laughs> not having to check my inbox because I actually do not have my emails on my phone. Um, on an iPad, I only have my emails on my laptop and I kept my passwords. This is a rookie mistake, rookie mistake. I kept the passwords for my actual emails on the notes little thingy that's saved not on iCloud, only on my laptop, which of course I now cannot access. So I've got zero access to any of my emails at the moment so if you do require my attention urgently please just email abby at support at private-practice-success.com and she will make sure that i attend to anything that needs my urgent attention Alrighty. so yes i'm embracing the freedom from emails and again, learning that the world doesn't revolve around me. So I don't have to always check my emails. And um, yeah, I need to have patience waiting for my new laptop and use a very old laptop that also has to be on charge the whole time, <laughs> which means I'm not very mobile at the moment, but that's okay. I can deal with any challenge. Hey, Laura, how are you? How are you going? So yes, that's been the start of my week. Um, I've also been moving house. Started that over the weekend. That's why I don't even have a hat. My actual running shoes is at the other house still. Which is why I'm just walking here on the beach doing beach walks at the moment, bare feet. Um, we'll do the rest of the moving over the week weekend because I've got stuff to do in the week, right? Like today I'm. Um, meeting with my fabulous inner Slato for 19 minutes at 11 then I've got some time off and then this afternoon in 3 and 5 I'm running the Elevate VIP Mastermind the second group so we actually had uh, so many sign-ups for that that I had to do two groups so the one runs on a Saturday and then the other one this afternoon yes but now I'm here enjoying the glorious sunshine and I need to start getting back because I still need to get home have a shower have breakfast before I meet with my inner circle at 11 but my quick question to you today is and this is of course the title of the line live stream how is your practice serving you how is your practice serving you okay does it allow you to do stuff like this I've got two brick and mortar group private practices back in Brisbane. And this is how I'm starting my Thursday morning. And then I'm gonna be working for 90 minutes with my inner circle, which really isn't work. It's just, it's just fun. <laughs> it's answering questions and I actually love it. And then I've got like a couple of hours off and then I'm doing another two hours of the VIP mastermind group 
which again to me is fun. I only do stuff that I enjoy, that expands me. And what I love about hot seats and Q&As is my brain is just like firing the whole time. I love it when people just throw problems at me, <laughs> challenges at me, and I really need to think on my feet. It's when I'm at my best and I can just come up with solutions and strategies and suggestions and the time just flies because we're having fun. Um, and this is the type of business that I want for each and every one of you. When you are doing things, you need to be enjoying it. It should be expanding you. The moment you are going, oh shit, do I need to do this? Oh, I'm so over this. It, it's a red flag to tell you that maybe something needs to change, right? And yes, you know, you might be like me. I'm very old school where I just go, well, just suck it up, princess. You need to do this, it needs to be done. But there does come a time where you don't have to suck it up anymore where sucking it up is actually gonna just keep you stuck it's just gonna keep you in exactly the same place and it's just gonna keep you on the treadmill and you're not gonna be moving anywhere because all you're doing is sucking it up whereas what you need to do is really scale your business by going okay this no longer serves me now I need to invest probably some money into hiring team that can support me that can do some of these roles so that I can step things up and that I can step into that next level me and then also allowing some of your team to step into their next level the next level of who they are in terms of leadership roles right hey Zoe how are you how's things in Perth I do hope you guys can hear me because the the water is so freaking loud it's amazing but it is pretty loud so um, yeah, you need to make those decisions. You need to give yourself the business that you want, a business, a practice that's going to serve you. Um, or you can decide to be slaving away in your practice. The choice is yours, right? You can either stay stuck or you can step things up. It's up to you. There's no right or wrong. I just believe that if you're not going to step it up, then you can't complain about it. You can't whinge about it if you're not going to do something about it. If you make a choice to stay stuck, suck it up, do the same thing day in and day out that's not serving you, that's perfectly fine. But don't complain about it because it's a, a conscious choice that you are making, right? And if you find yourself complaining about it and you don't like it, then do something about it, right? The fact that I have a management team back home in Brisbane that is building my practice. Did you hear the word building? Not only managing, not only looking after, but building my practice, nurturing my practice, allowing my practice to keep growing even though I'm not there. And you can have exactly the same thing if that is what you want, right? If that is what you want. So really have a think about it, have a bit of a reflection in terms of how your practice is currently serving you. And if it's not, join me for my, the management team trifecta training that's happening. I don't even know what date it is. I think it's the 11th of September. It's a Friday in September. <laughs> I will put the link in here for you guys. I don't have a sales page that sets out all the information because my website is currently being updated but I'll share a bit of a post just with some details come and join me and I will be sharing with you guys exactly how I built my management team so my management team has looked different over the years depending on how big my practice was depending how willing I was to take risks and obviously I've learned Quite a lot from that process I I hired my first person in my management team when was that 2017 2018 potentially I'm so bad with dates but quite a number of years ago already at least five years ago so I do think I know a thing or two about having a management team. Let me just get my thongs. Here we go. So 
so I know a thing or two and I'm going to be sharing that with you guys and <laughs> in order to over deliver I'm giving you some job descriptions which you can use whether your management team are employees or contractors and I'll talk to you about the differences there as well oh out of breath from that little hill but also walking on the sand right it's good it's good to sometimes do a different type of exercise because if you're just doing the same thing over and over then you reach a plateau in your growth right so I'm gonna love and leave you I'll do the last five minutes home's not too far away I would love for you to join me at the management team and if you're not there yet it doesn't mean that this video is not for you because even if you are just a solo practice owner and let's face it that can be some of the most rewarding but also loneliest work there is to be in solo private practice which is why I have this group for you guys as well you still need to ask yourself how is my practice serving me and why am I tolerating things that does not serve me why am I tolerating client behavior maybe why am I tolerating my own behavior that is not serving me that is not lining me up right you've got only one life to live and you need to make the most of it and you need to demand and you need to take the life that you want so I'm gonna leave you with that have an amazing day I need to run <laughs> probably literally to be in time for 11 if I still want to shower, comb my hair and have my breakfast. And um, yeah, remember, as always, all you need to do is say yes to your very own ultimate level five private practice. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.